Everyone, this is Julie. The way that I would describe Julie is um, she is just the nicest person on the planet. And I think that the writers meant to have her that way so that the joke would play more that Rachel thinks she's a no matter what she does or says. I mean, who is Julie? I mean, what do you like? What don't you like? We want to know everything. Well, that could take a while. Rachel's trying to keep Julie talking so that they won't end up getting together physically, Ross and Julie. And so I end up talking and talking and talking and then they cut to, you know, like everyone's asleep. And it was like, wait, who, who was it? Was it Matt LeBlanc that said, wow, Julie, she's a talker. You know, like, well, that Julie's a talker, huh? <laughs> One of my other favorite moments was, was a joke that I actually pitched, which was exciting for me because at the time I was living in Manhattan. People just on the street that I would meet thought that because I was Asian that I didn't understand English, right? So, like, literally when I'd be stopping at the hot dog stand, it's like, Do you want a Coke? And I was like, okay, I'm not, you know, I, I do understand English and you don't have to shout. And so I told that to the, to the writers. Welcome to our country. <laughs> And so that's why they wrote in, you know, that Rachel says, Welcome to New York. That was my joke. I actually remember Rachel's lines more. What isn't that just spit in your face? What, what, what is that one? I mean, isn't that just kick you in the crotch, spit on your neck, fantastic? <laughs> isn't that kick you in the crotch, spit in your face, fantastic? It's not my line, but I liked it. <laughs> this is a song, um about a love triangle between three people that I made up. I remember there was a, a and Lisa Kudrow's character sang a song about my character, and I still remember thinking, you know, I'm supposed to be bright, but the director wanted me to be smiling the whole time. I'm like, smiling? I'm gonna look like an imbecile. Like, I don't understand that I'm being completely dissed by this song, but I did it, you know, because I was told to do that, but it didn't seem quite right to me. Because she's a paleontologist, she would, she would, I think she'd be a little bit quicker on the uptake there. Okay, all right, look, let's get logical about this, okay? We'll make a list. Rachel and Julie, uh, pros and cons. The audience reaction, because we taped our show live, was so, oh, they were rabid. The fans were rabid, so I wasn't prepared um, for the amount of venom I was about to receive in a live audience where they actually booed my character. And I think most actors are pretty sensitive. That's why we're doing what we do because our emotions are right here on our sleeve. And I was, I, I just was so shocked that they were booing me. And of course I was trying very hard not to get my feelings hurt. <laughs> but I did understand intellectually that, you know, the audience was meant to, to be rooting for Rachel. Even I was rooting for Rachel on, a, on some level because I was a fan of the show. But I knew that, uh, but, but emotionally, like my body didn't understand that when, when it heard the booing. So that was tough. <laughs> you getting a cat? Uh, actually, we're getting a cat. <laughs> Ross should have picked me. Ross should have picked Julie. We would have been so happy with our cats. All I can think about is Ross, his cat, and his Julie. We would have started with plants, moved on to cats, and then had kids. But I think Julie probably ended up with Russ, so I don't think she did too bad. Actually, I've got some of his stuff that he, um... <laughs> what I remember about being cast on Friends is that I was watching the show uh, in its first season and loved it. And I, I actually had the thought when I saw David Schwimmer, because he's from Chicago too, and I thought, Oh, Chicago boy, he's cute. I would love to be on that show working with him. I had that thought, right? And then about a few months later, um, the Joylet Club had come out, and one of the directors, Gail Mancuso, had seen it and thought, oh, that girl might be really good to play this really nice girl character. So they uh, called my agents and offered me the part, and I still remember I was on the treadmill eating a donut, because it's like calories in, calories out. And um, I answered the phone and I was like, I'm, I'm trying to jog and... Anyway, um, she, she said, oh, how would you feel about doing an arc on Friends? 
And I, I literally almost tripped off the treadmill and said, hang on, let me think about that for a second. Yes! Oh, you're losing your apron here. Let me get it. Oh, there you go. Thank you. And all of them were just, uh, it was very authentic, their friendship. They were very bonded because I think it, when I started, it was the, the point at which they were just taking off like a rocket ship. And so sometimes I think that even a success can feel like a crisis because it's so huge. And so they kind of really clung on to each other. They would literally walk down the set uh, on Warner Brothers arm in arm. <laughs> Just like, you know, that's real. Um, and I, I still remember it was my birthday on um, my first day of rehearsal. And so they all took me out to lunch. Um, there was a kind of a nice dining room with, you know, cloth napkins and tablecloths. It was very, very fancy. And it was so, so sweet of them to welcome me in that way. Because, you know, since then I had done other series. I'll go with you. Great. I probably get it at least five times a week where someone on the street or just when I'm out and about will come up to me and say, were you on Friends? And it's so great that they keep repeating them because it keeps me current with the younger crowd. And, and I'm, I'm glad that it, the show still holds up. I think the writing is you know, good enough where it really seems applicable to today. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting because I've studied classical theater and I've done all the, the stage work and, and tried to you know, position myself at the beginning of my career as a serious actress and yet I'm probably most known from friends and it's what people want to know is, is, is Ross a good kisser? <laughs> so that sort of sums it up. And he is, by the way. <laughs> I really wanted you to like me and I... It's probably me just being totally paranoid, but I kind of got the feeling that maybe you don't. <laughs> I think that Friends is so relatable and that's why it's still such a success so many years later because young people can identify with the characters and the writing is that good. It's a very clear sign to me when you don't have to do anything but say the line and that's how it always was on Friends and so I think that uh, the execution was amazing because of the cast and their chemistry but the writing was very solid. <laughs>